Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a keto-friendly, low-carb, gluten-free pizza crust. Cauliflower is low-carb and high in fiber, which makes it perfect for the ketogenic diet. It's low-calorie, it doesn't impact your insulin, and it's full of essential nutrients. And today we're going to use it to make pizza. So let's go. We begin by preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and then proceeding to clean some cauliflower. Using a sharp and sturdy knife, we break it down into florets, remove some of the stems and then proceed to weigh it out. We need about 350 grams. Then we're going to give the cauliflower a nice good thorough wash. We don't want any bugs sneaking into our pizza. Using a food processor, we're going to pulse the cauliflower until it's fine and powdery. Keep pulsing and stirring and pulsing and stirring until it's completely broken down, resembling something akin to couscous. We're going to set a nice, wide, non-stick frying pan over medium heat and then empty out the cauliflower into the pan. Then we're going to continuously stir the cauliflower. What we're trying to do is coax out as much moisture as possible without discoloring the cauliflower. To aid us in this, we're going to add a pinch of rock salt. If you feel like the cauliflower is starting to cook too quickly, you can momentarily slide it off the heat to bring it back down. We're going to cook the cauliflower for six to eight minutes, stirring continuously until it stops tasting raw and it has released a bit of its moisture. We're now going to add it back to the food processor and pulse it a little more until it becomes even more fine and powdery. It's going to start resembling sort of a loose cookie dough now and this is exactly the right consistency we want. Next comes the hard part. We're going to empty out the cauliflower mash into a muslin cloth or a dish towel or a dish cloth or any cloth you have and then we're going to proceed to squeeze as much water out of it as we can. This process takes anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes and is going to give you a real workout. Just when you think you're done, you have to reposition your hand and squeeze the cauliflower from another angle and you will be surprised how much moisture still remains. Once you feel like you've extracted as much water as you can and you feel like you've squeezed till you can't squeeze no more, muster up some final bit of courage and strength and give it one last good squeeze and then you should be done. With achy shaking hands, empty out the contents of the muslin into a bowl and take a moment to see exactly how much moisture you've extruded using those big strong arms of yours. Next, we're going to add some other ingredients. Yes, believe it or not, this recipe does include things other than cauliflower. We're going to add one whole egg, quarter teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, if you're kind of crazy like I am, and then optionally, we can add some aromatics in the form of one teaspoon of mixed dried herbs. Not optional, however, are the two tablespoons of almond flour we need to add to the mixture as well. Then employing some gadget hackery, we're going to add both the blade and the grater attachment to the food processor at the same time. This will allow us to both grate our 90 grams of mozzarella and form the dough with the blade simultaneously. I really wasn't pressed for time, but you know, everyone loves jugar. Once the cheese is grated and mixed into the dough, we're going to give it a quick stir and then blitz it once more until the dough is fully combined. Next, we're going to use some parchment paper or grease some silicon mats with olive oil and then empty out our dough onto the mat. Now we're going to start forming our pizza base. We're first going to form a rough ball, then pat it down into a circle, then cover it with a second mat, and then using a weight, we're going to squeeze it down until it's about a quarter to half an inch thick. After admiring the perfect circle, we're going to remove the top sheet and start to form our edges. We're going to create a gentle lip on the edge and then transfer the silicon mat or your parchment paper onto a baking sheet and then stick it into the middle of our nicely preheated oven. About 20 minutes later, we're going to yank it out of the oven and then proceed to flip it over. The easiest way to do this is to grease our silicon mat, place it on top of the pizza, then place a cutting board or plate on top of the mat, flip the whole thing over, lift off the baking sheet and then carefully using an icing spatula or a chef's knife we're just going to coax the cauliflower crust to release from the mat if it's looking a little underdone in the middle on the underside kind of like mine is i'm just going to stick it back in the oven for another five to ten minutes now you can remove your cauliflower crust from the oven and start to prepare your pizza pie as your crust is now ready to accept your toppings once you've got your sauce and your toppings on there just stick it back in the oven under the broiler to melt the cheese to your desired consistency and then take a moment to admire your low carb handiwork before digging in 
thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you give this recipe a try and that you guys indulge in some pizza just because we're on a low carb diet doesn't mean we can't enjoy the good things in life if you enjoyed this video you can let me know in the comments below and you can smash that like button and if you haven't already please take a moment to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you're amongst the first few to know the next time i released a new recipe video thank you for all your continuing love and support until the next one be safe be happy and eat well